Sugar Foot, welcome back to From Head to Curve, our plus size fashion and lifestyle community. Today is gonna be getting my life together day. As in, I have so much mess to clean up in this kitchen. It's a mess, I, I don't even, I have so much to clean up in the kitchen and I want to like shampoo my hair again because the last shampoo I've done did not last long at all. So I want to shampoo it again and maybe just put it in some plaits for now um, and then kind of wig it out for the next couple of days. So that's what I'm thinking about because uh, I just really don't want to deal with straightening it right now. Um, probably Friday evening, I may just do like a cool dry on it and then just do kind of a braid out and see how I like that with the kind of, in a semi-natural blown out state. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. But how are you guys doing, y'all? As you know, we're doing vlogs for the remaining of March and I think I may kind of do more vlog heavy style uh, for April as well, not sure. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> but you guys seem to be enjoying the vlog so far. So um, we're gonna keep it with those. Oh. For you guys that are not following me on Instagram or may not have seen my stuff lately because Instagram be Instagramming. Y'all, I've applied to Sephora, the Sephora squad for 2022. <sighs> okay, so I applied last year, didn't really put too much effort in it and of course didn't get it because I didn't put too much effort in it. But um, I wasn't going to apply this year and I was just like, I heard to apply. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply, be obedient, actually put effort in it and see where things go. So thank you guys that um, has have been putting in testimonies for me. Thank you so much. So basically, it's like a quick application that I did. And whenever we finish our application, we can invite others to come and do like a one to two or a few sentences testimony saying why we should have the spot in the Sephora squad. And basically you get a chance to work closely with Sephora. You get to learn more about their products and you also get to do brand partnerships through Sephora as well, which I already kind of talk to you guys about the skincare stuff that I get there and makeup stuff so it wouldn't be really any different maybe a little bit more um knowledge going behind some of their other products that I might I may not try but that's other options as well so if you guys are ride or die and you absolutely love it over here I would love it if you could please support your girl and put a testimony in for me for the Sephora squad 2022 um it doesn't have to be long at all it could be a sentence it could be two sentences it could be three sentences it doesn't matter there's no length no minimal length um and all they i think they say that i think they just that's i think that's all they ask you for is maybe your email and the testimony i don't think that you don't need to put in all of the kinds of extra personal information so thank you guys that are willing to do that i'll put the link here in case you're watching this on your TV and you don't feel like actually going to this video on YouTube and finding the link in the description and clicking it, I'll put it here. <laughs> so I'll put it here and I'll put it in the description for you guys that don't wanna type it out and just wanna click it. Um, hope, thank you guys so much for all that you've done and all of your support and constantly showing up over here, especially past algorithms and changes and platforms and stuff that just sometimes makes it harder for us to do our job. but. All I can do is keep praying and keep doing what God has blessed me to be able to do and continue connecting with you all. And that's the most that I can do. But thank you guys that are willing to put in the testimony. Um, today is Thursday. I was actually going to go, ooh, my bad. I was actually gonna go to Lowe's today. Like I planned going today from tomorrow. Like I was talking to my gardener and everything. And I was like, oh, uh, you know, it's spring. Spring is springing out here. And I want to, um, I want to actually do some more with the flowers and stuff in the front of my garden and bushes and stuff like that. So I actually want to do more of that. But I'm not a garden girl because me and the way bugs are set up is just not cute. I think I'm too big to be seen outside screaming and hollering and running from some bugs. And that's usually what I do when I come in contact with them. Like I have like a little bit more of a numbness to spiders because that's what I experience more here. And actually if it's a certain type of spider, if it's the wolf spider that I experience normally, which is like this big um, <laughs> and pretty thick, I'm like, oh, okay, you know, I'll go and spray them and be done with it. But only because I know they have not jumped and they don't do all the extra stuff. They may squirm a whole lot when they're dying, but when it comes to like running for their life, they're not gonna jump on you and attack you. But anything else, 
I'm not for it because I just, you know, I haven't had experience with it. I don't want to deal with all kinds of other bugs, bees and all that other stuff, wasps and stuff. That's just not my, you know what I'm saying? This is not my steed. So I leave the gardening up to the gardeners. <laughs> all that to say. So basically they're actually going to go to, uh, I don't know where they're going to go specifically to get these flowers, but they're going to go get the flowers for me and get them all planted next week. I can show you what they look like now because by the time you guys watch this, you'll be done. So <laughs> let, let me let me show you that. So this is the bush that um, I forgot what they called it, like a heather bush or something like that. It has berries and whatnot. And we're going to get more of these on the front of my home so they can get pretty big and more bushier. And I love the fact that it has berries on it and stuff like that. I think these are the same that my mom has at her house. But I love the way it looks like, oh my goodness, the pop of berries. I just want it to get, and it will get, bigger and fuller during the spring. So, yeah, that is what it looks like now. And I think it's going to be so cute. I'm going to have that lined um, in the garden. And then some more flowers and whatnot. So let me show you what the garden looks like now. By the time you guys see this, uh, the garden will look different. So honey, my grass is very crispy, but this is what the garden is looking like now. Very crunchy, <laughs> um, no life. So we're gonna get some of those, I think I wanna call them heather or something. I don't know if that's what it's called. I know it starts with the H, but like four of those bushes lining at the base there. And then some of these, I don't know what these are called. Like he gave me the name of all of them, but girl, the way my memory set up, some of these, um, to kind of grow and bloom a bit more <laughs> and then more to kind of line along here and go through here the bushes they said they can get pretty big but because they have some of them so close move one of these along over here and then just get some color to go through here but this little bad boy is going to go on the side of my house because it can grow taller to kind of look like a it's like Christmas tree like a mini Christmas tree so yeah we're gonna move that over there but this is how dead it's been looking because winter is no longer winter so we're gonna get this all sorted out so now I just need to get the inside of my house and myself sorted so what I'm gonna do now is like really attack this kitchen because it looked like I don't care about my life or anything that is a part of it. So <laughs> let me go ahead and do some things to this kitchen real quick. So guys getting ready to go to uh, dinner with someone that I met at an event in December so we're connecting again so I'm getting ready to go there I have my wig on because you know <laughs> my hair um, needs to be shampooed again so I have on my wig I have this top on from Target it's actually gonna be a little chilly outside tonight so I got something with a little long sleeves and has ruffles lining it so 
that's this top these are Ava and Viv jeans and these are older booties I think from Lane Bryant so this is what I'm wearing it'll take me about 45 minutes to get there so I have I think it's like three almost 340 I mean almost 540s and I need to be there by 630 so I'm going to head out now so I will see you guys there let me tell y'all something it's in my bad. I'm so sorry. I <laughs> completely like, okay, I was supposed to film going to dinner yesterday. I was able to chat with a young lady that I met, met at a uh, Kendra Scott event in December. We were able to catch up and just chat about a few things and child. When I tell you, well, okay. So we went to actually go to, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, but it's spelled G Y U. K-A-K-U. It's a Japanese barbecue place. I call it Buikaku. I don't know if that's right. <laughs> I have no idea if that's right. But we tried to go there in Midtown and then um, ended up going somewhere else because the parking at Buikaku is horrible. I come like I thought about it when I when I was on my way, but then I was like, no, it's after work. Maybe people are like just headed home. It's Thursday, you know, it's after work. Maybe people are headed home and they're not gonna be extremely crowded. They got like 10 parking spaces. <laughs> Girl, about literally. Um, So <laughs> we get over there, I circle the parking lot, like go around the block and come back at least four times. And people are like, a couple people have left, but I wasn't the next in line. <laughs> so, yeah, so basically when we got to the place for dinner, we went to District 7. I uh, Like I suggested we go there because I know they had their own parking lot. Go, we get there, it's like three cars in that parking lot. I was like, yes. So we get over there and I hop out the car and Chelsea was already there and I just completely forgot my camera in the car. All that to say, that's the reason why I forgot to vlog yesterday's dinner. I wasn't gonna put her on the camera because I don't, I'm sure she doesn't like just get on camera, but I want to take you guys along with me, mommy. But we're actually doing things today, so maybe that will help. <laughs> I'm actually going to, where am I going, girl? Bed, bath, and beyond. I'm going there. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I'm actually going to Bed Bath & Beyond um, to see about some knives because I was cooking one of my Blue Apron meals the other day and it required me to chop up some peppers. And the chopation was not clicking with the knife that I have. I have one knife that's like solid, like, oh, this is my knife, but that knife was dirty and I wasn't in a wash a dish mood. I was like, let's just, I wanna get this done. Ooh. I was just like, I want to get this done because the times that they put on these blue apron meals and all of these other meals, that is like the time to me that it takes if you're not reading through the recipe. <laughs> it has never taken me like something will say, oh, it takes 30 to 40 minutes. Girl, take me about 45, 55 minutes to do it. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, what's this? <laughs> if it takes steps, it's going to take me a little bit. I don't, I'm just not. I don't just be flowing with steps like that. I'm gonna put on a little brow or two um, to get ready to head to Bed Bath & Beyond. And I think I'm going to um, actually, I think I'm also going to go to, I think I'm gonna go to Old Navy as well because spring be spring and, and I plan on actually going out, kind of getting out a little bit with Jaleesa tomorrow. And we're gonna be out of the house like, Maybe go to uh, that place that I like to go to with the good chicken, that black place. Uh, it's called Frenchie's. I say that black place because everybody's not from Houston and you just, when you come here, you want some chicken by a black owned company, Frenchie's. Uh, but it's not close to me. It's like, um, it's more into the city and I live m not in the city like that. Jaleesa has been having a little time these last couple of weeks, so we get together so she can kind of blow off a little steam and just get out of the house and just enjoy some time with somebody else that's not in the house. You know, how you just need that time away. So we're gonna get together tomorrow. And so, like I told y'all in the last vlog, girl, I don't have no spring clothes. 
the three items that I purchased at Target last in the last vlog, those are the three items I have for spring. <laughs> that that's it. Like, ugh, it's horrible. But um, I'm gonna go and see what they sh their shorts are looking like. I'm not gonna do a full beat face. It's just not what we're doing. My eyebrows are pretty light. If I had just naturally more bushy eyebrows that act like that actually look like somebody when you arch them and that's all you got to do I wouldn't be doing brows because detest I've had my brows it's not laminate <laughs> say laminated is that the is that the word don't you do that to like cards I've had my brows done at some point I forgot what it's called but I have it I've had them done before and um girl it just like I have like balding, like right here. Like the arch doesn't fully arch, if you see what I'm saying. Like I have that in this brow and I, a little bit in this one, but mostly just in this brow. So I've been using this brow serum so it can like really grow in. I would like for them to grow in bushy so that when I arch them, it is what it is. I don't have to go in and like create a whole new brow. Like, you know what I'm saying? Who got time for that? all the time anywho i'm thinking about maybe stopping at torchy's tacos on the way back and i'm going to cook a blue apron meal this evening i have two left before i get my next order and my next order that the the recipes they had for that week <gasps> baby they were so good they were so good so i ended up usually i'll get two meals for the week and the two, two meals, two recipes. And the two recipes will hold enough for two meals. So that you could like about four meals from Blue Apron for that week. Usually that's what I've been doing. But I have not been cooking them in a timely manner. So I've been freezing them. I, I froze the produce, not the produce. I froze the meat of the last um, Blue Apron meal. And I cooked, I hair up and cooked the two that were spilling into, like they were overdue. They were spilling into the next week. Hair up and cooked those at the beginning of this week. And then now I have two more to cook um, for this week. Before the next three come in tomorrow. <laughs> so I think I may cook or something before going. I don't know. I may. I could be lying. Girl, if I wake up in the morning and I'm like, you know what's not in my spirit? Cooking. <laughs> then I'm not going to do it. <laughs> so... Let me finish getting ready. Girl. <laughs> Let me finish getting ready. Then I will talk to y'all when I'm like fully done. So y'all here I am for the day. I got this hat from one of my fellow really nice followers. She um and subscribers. She talked about when I was complaining about like my head being so big because of for, uh, when trying to wear fedora hats. She told me she creates hats and she wanted to send me one as a gift. And this is just so I'll show you guys it more up close um, after I show you the full outfit. But I have on the hat, um, this old, what is this? This old like ruffle trim dress from Walmart. Uh, you guys have seen this on my Instagram and probably with me shooting it when I was shooting outside with Justine and Ahmad. And then I have these older um woven style slides that are very comfortable i think i got these these are old from lane bryant i'll see what they have that's similar so these are um like a wide width option see the zits on it girl my toes need to be done so don't focus too hard okay so yeah i have that on very comfortable i have on a girdle because i just you know when i walk i like jiggle <laughs> so i uh have on a girdle keep everything tight uh, not moving around everywhere so I could be comfortable and yeah this dress is lined by the way this is from Walmart's last season in fall so yeah I'm excited about that cuz I feel comfy and you know you do not want to be uncomfortable when you shopping okay this is the fragrance I'm wearing it is the dozier gourmand um, white flowers this is actually a sweet sweeter scent let me see if it has the notes. It has the top notes. It, top notes is, uh, it won't focus, but it's bergamot, green tea, uh, what is this? Freesia and berries. So yeah, it's a sweeter scent 
and I usually don't like sweet scents, but this one is a good one. So I had to get this one. It's 30 bucks from Walmart because y'all know I be Walmarting it up. Um, so I linked this and <laughs> I was at to dinner with Chelsea uh, last night and she said, what is that you're smelling? It smells so good. I was smelling you earlier. <laughs> so yeah, this, this, and I heard that they have a, Dozier has a dupe of the Barack. I think it's, am I saying it right? Barack, Barack, Barack so i'm like girl i'm gonna get it together 540 um they have a dupe of that so if anyone knows what the name of that dupe is please list it in the comments for your girl someone said it on the live when i um like i did a live video whatever so we can do a live chat last tuesday someone said that they had a dupe but they didn't give the name so if you could give the name if you know what their dupe is to the Barat, uh, fragrance please tell us what the dossier name is so Anywho, let me show you this hat. Yeah, here is the hat. Isn't it cute? I have on my earrings from 1111, um, Adrian Bylon's line that my sister got me for Christmas. But it has like this kind of Aztec, the hat has this Aztec kind of um, detail to it. Very cute. And it's all around the brim of the hat. And this is the color. I love this color. I love a good earth tone color, honey. And I got a big head, y'all. I have, I can't like, I about need special made hats for my head when it comes to having braids and wearing a wig and still wanting to wear a hat and it be comfortable um, like it is with my natural hair because I think my head uh, measurement is like 23 so I need about 20, 25, 26 inches uh, around this head honey but when I get ready to like have an additional style like with some weave or a protective style or something like that and want to wear my hat I need a special made hat but this one is really good with my natural hair it looks cute i love the details of it and i don't think it clashes too much with the outfit in whole like if you're looking at it right now it probably looks like a lot but it's not um when i looked at everything together let me double check yeah when i looked at everything together it doesn't clash it actually kind of ties my sandals with this entire outfit because there's some beige a little bit in this dress and then you have more beige than taupe in the hat and then you got my sandals on some beige so yeah isn't it curb i'm trying to be somebody like i'm trying to look like somebody out of these streets i wasn't gonna grab my beige tar tardigan my beige cardigan but it's regular houston weather so i'm not, I'm not dealing with that um yeah i got on my ring from kendra scott and then this uh cusp bracelet and then yeah so we're gonna go ahead and head out i think i possibly may don't hold me to it may possibly also stop by walmart and see if they got another one of these in black because i want to incorporate more black in this room let me show you real quick because i can't get this off my spirit hold on so y'all know how i love this luxury robe i've been having it mm. i've been having it since the holidays and I'm, i want to get rid of this cranberry holiday red like this is something you throw out during october or uh november when you're getting ready for the holiday season you know I'm, i don't want to do that so i want to incorporate more black so i got some silk black um pillowcases from walmart to add to my bedspread i don't really need to change up a whole lot with the pillows i don't think because i still want to bring in some beige and topes uh my curtain wall it's probably most likely going to be that color um sheer curtains that are gonna come from the top i found some on amazon i just need to look at the measurements and uh because i want it to go from the ceiling to the floor so that's a, that's a task um and then i found some different types of black lampshades to kind of change those out and then i want whatever's gonna go here to be black um, and then I can put some taupe like accessories and stuff on there. And I want a whole new mirror because this ain't getting it. Like if you see how tall this section is, that mirror looked teen anxious standing up over in that corner. So I kind of want it to be bigger and a little wider. So I need to find something over there. But I mean, it'll do for now. She's cute here for now. I eventually, uh, because the curtain wall is going to go all the way to each side. That's what I would like. The curtain wall to be up here all the way to each side curtains falling to the floor um i want that so i'm gonna have to have like some kind of stand for this mirror so that it's not it doesn't need to lean against the wall if that makes sense so i don't want to hang it but i want it to be wall a wall mirror and so i kind of want it to be kind of diagonal too as well so it's not like really resting on the curtains so i have to figure all of that out but i do eventually want to get back into some home stuff because i want my 
home to feel finished you know what i'm saying and more comfy so <laughs> but it's gonna be a test because it's already very comfortable in my house especially the living room and it makes me not want to leave so <laughs> I need to figure that out. Like, it makes me not want to leave. And then when company comes, they don't really feel like leaving. Especially my my immediate family. They were like, are we sleeping over? Because <laughs> it's just might as well get a bunch of throws and just chill up or whatever. So, okay, girl, let me go. I've been talking for too much. this is what happens when you talk about you gonna cook you get home you like okay <laughs> I had a meeting today um, so I did a little piece of this video I had a little time before my meeting so I took a little 20 minute nap wakes up do the meeting the meeting runs over for like 15 20 minutes gets ready to come in here and cook realize I never took the meat out to thaw. 
And it's past time for me to eat. It's past time for me to eat. So we done Postmates something, of course. Sorry, I'm scooting y'all back. I had to Postmates something because I can't cook tonight. <laughs> I can throw it out in the microwave, but I've never done that. And I don't want to, I don't trust myself to do that and mess up the stuff. But let me show you guys some of the things I bought. I really bought a lot of stuff today. Honestly, I wasn't even trying to shop the way I shopped today and I really wasn't expecting it. And I didn't end up going to, I ended up not going to Walmart. I looked up that blanket that um, I have on my bed now. They don't have it in black. So I was trying to find another, um, what is it? Something in gardens something in garden brand at Walmart. I was trying to find another throw from that exact black brand to see if they had black. I know I found a black throw at Target, but I was trying to stay with the Walmart thing. But if I can't find one find, uh, soon enough, then I can get a king size one at Target. Um, so I stopped by CVS first. Y'all didn't see that in the footage. Oh my gosh, girl. Oh. oh my God, I just bought, okay. I just bought this Ollie laser focus vitamins, right? Cause I need to stay focused. Your girl gotta work. I kept it in the car and look, it has completely melted. I'm sitting here trying to shake like, it was 84 degrees today. It has completely melted in the car. It probably melted when I was in, um, when I was in Old Navy, because that's when it was at the heat of the day and I was about over it. By the time I got in that car, I was like, whew, smoldering. So now I gotta get more of these because I can't even tell what one gummy would look like. I <laughs> can like break away. That sucks. It fully melted and I hadn't gotten it to the house before it could stay at room town. Farfic Nugent. So I had gotten that. But um, I also got this B12 from CVS. Got the CVS brand because my sister, the nurse, told me, girl, get you that uh, off brand, not the off brand, get you the store brand because all they do is they change one little measurement in the whole ingredient so that they can sell it for themselves. B, uh, B12 from CVS. I got that. That's where I went first. Then I got me a sandwich from Starbucks, um, the that crispy grilled cheese on sourdough. I got that and then went to the um, car wash. I then took my vitamins while I was in the line. Um, so then I went to Bed Bath & Beyond and I got a few things. Of course, I went there for one thing and you end up with a few things. So I got two types of knives, the Quizzy Art. Let me put my base in front. I got Quizzy Art knife. One knife, this one looks very similar to the knife that I've been using, um, that's really good. And then this one, the shape um, is similar to the knife that I had that is dull. And what I forgot to get was a knife sharpener, um, a steel sharpener, but I got this set of three and then this set of the seven inch Santoku knife and then the chef knife set. So. It says six piece, it's, it's three knives and some covers, um, the sleeves for the knives. So I got that. I needed a new um, strainer because the one I have, it's like, it has a white coating paint over a metal bowl and then the paint is chipping and I'd rather not, rather not be dealing with that. So I got this um, nice plastic one with the nice rubber handles. I needed a sifter because I don't have one. And when I was trying to do like powdered sugar over the cakes, when I was baking cakes more frequently, I didn't have a sifter. So that is helpful. And got me a couple or a few spoons. I got two of the same kind because these are more uh, firm. I have like three or four spoons in my drawer that just needs to go in the trash because they're so, flimsy that I can't even flip pasta with them. So, <laughs> and then I got this for pasta and it's more firm. So I got these three and finally, I've always wanted one of these in my house. 
just for oil. It just looks so cute. I don't know what it is. It's just, it's like, oh my God, you got olive oil, girl. You got, you're a homeowner because you got olive oil. <laughs> so I got that. Hopefully I'll take this tag, like take this bar thing off and hopefully it doesn't stick. So yeah, that's all that I got at Bed Bath & Beyond. So let me show you the items that I got at Old Navy. I'm not gonna try them on in this vlog. I'm actually going to, before we, like after we get all this stuff, look through the stuff, I'm going to end this vlog and start the next vlog tomorrow. Um, and in that vlog, I will show you what the items look like on. I'll do a quick, what I've purchased from Old Navy haul. Girl, it was so, it was so hot by the time I got to Old Navy. I was like, my hair by the time I got inside the car was in the middle. It was so big. It had gotten so big. I didn't even realize I was sweating. Cause I sweat in my head first. So it's not any perspiring or anything like this around here. I didn't see or feel anything. Girl, I just got in that car and it's like my hair swole up to the biggest point. And I was like, okay, well that's just what we're doing today. So, I got quite a bit at Old Navy. I needed just some like regular chill stuff. I didn't have a lot of things that you can wear when it's burning up outside and it's already hit 80. It was cooler yesterday. I don't know what happened. It was like, I had to have my heat on. That's how cool it was yesterday. So I got a few of these tops. The thing that I like about Old Navy, it now, because I'm really proud of how they kind of rearrange things in their store. Before, uh, now they have everything mingled together. They, there's no plus size section or anything like that. Everything is together. Whatever they have, they show what size it goes up to. And most of the things that they had in that store went up to plus sizes. So it went up to a 4X. I wear a two or three X, depending on what the item is. Like in tops, I'm most likely a two X. In bottoms, I'm most likely a three X. Um, but I have not been to Old Navy since I was in my early 20s. So I'm like relearning them all over again. I tried on their shorts because I know they have like a ton of shorts. A lot of their shorts were too short for my comfortability, my just, what I'm comfortable with wearing. Um, but then when I found some that were the right height or the right length rather, I realized why I stopped trying on or wearing Old Navy jeans. which is because I rarely am able to find jeans with stretch in the waistband or any type of spandex or stretch in the waistband. And I'm more of an apple shape I'm like an apple hourglass, but more of an apple um, because I'm not wearing my pants all the way up here. <laughs> so um, I'm more of an apple shape. So I need something to fit my waist and also fit my thighs and my legs and my butt. So it looks, the, the jeans don't ever look good on me because I have to size up to get something to fix in the waist, but then the legs are kind of like baggy along the side and it just looks real grandma-ish at the booty. It just don't look right on me. So I realized that's pretty much why I stopped shopping their jeans. Um, and that was their shorts. It may, I didn't try on any longer jeans for me to see kind of how those fit. And they may have more stretch in their their pants. I don't know, I wasn't there long enough to try all of that stuff out and figure it out. But from what I tried, I didn't find anything that I actually liked um, on me. Y'all know you can get them altered. I'm not trying to do all that, um, but no. So, <clears throat> got about, I wanna say two or three of these. I got them all in a 2X. These are just like some tanks. This is like in a stripe, like a mustard color. These are all in a 2X. I got the mustard, I got a black and white stripe kind. This would be good to kind of have. I'm a plus size person that does not mind showing these big arms. I ain't got time to be fooling with, I live in Houston. I ain't got time to be worried about no arms right now. It's too hot for that. <laughs> it's too hot for that over here. Um, and today proved it. So I got that color, I got this color. I thought this was the one I tried on, which was really cute. You saw that one in the 
into the room and I will try these on in the next vlog. Like I will actually do a full try on in the next vlog. So there's that. So I got three of those apparently. Um, hold on, I gotta turn my AC on, it's kinda hot. So I got those, I got these um, leggings. This color, they're 3X. So I got this print, thought that would be cute. And then I really liked these Lux tops that they had, they were 30% off. Um, where am I dum dum dum? Yeah, 30% off Lux tops. And you know I love anything with a side split. So they have like little, well, where the split at, yeah. Yeah, they have like little slits on the side. It kind of fits like a tunic and it's thinner fabric, which perfect for Houston. And I got this in a size 2X. So it covers my butt, covers the front um, at a good angle. I mean, at a good length, like under my belly. And it fits really well. So I got this in black and in white. I really like this white one. I'll probably wear this tomorrow. I need to set it up to where it don't get wrinkled. Um, that one in this color, like a mauve-ish kind of color. Got that. So all of these are in a 2X. For size reference, I'm in, I'm a 22, 24. Old Navy tops run pretty loose, a little bigger. So you're okay with that. I got some extra, some, some more. Um, these aren't leggings. These are biker shorts, leggings, biker short leggings. So these, I got these in a 3X. They are the bike short, power chill bike shorts. These look shout shout. I should try these on. I didn't try these on. <laughs> and I got, what is this? Oh, I got this. I got this Diana Ross graphic tee. I thought it was cute. It's a crop tee. So I'll be wearing these with high waist jeans. I do not like to show a lot of belly, but I thought this would be a cute, not just lounging, but even just out running to the store, kind of like looking cute. I need more, I want more graphic tees. I don't want a lot of graphic tees cause I'm not 15, but I want more graphic tees, but more like black graphic tees, like of, you know, a black reference, like a black TV show, a black actress, a black singer, just something with black women or or black community related. So and you guys saw this dress. I thought it was so cute. It actually kind of reminds me of the dress I have on, like with this fit, but I really love this spandex portion of it. Very comfortable, it fits very well. I love how it looks up top. Got the little, you know, peekaboo, like, you know, <laughs> bow up here. And it looks really, cute and it feels very comfortable and it has pockets. So I got this in a size 3X. So this one fits really good, really well. Those are the things I got. I'll try them on again in the next vlog. Um, sorry I wasn't able to cook. I really wanted to cook today. Well, I didn't want to, but I wanted to eat the food that I had home today, but I'm not finna like, I know I can put it on thaw in the microwave. I'm just not doing that. I've never done that. I've always just thawed out my meat in sink and then kept it pushing. I've never thawed it out in the microwave, so I don't wanna mess anything up. Um, but anyway, it's in the freezer. I'll just work on it maybe tomorrow. I don't know, maybe Sunday, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but guys, please give this video a thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm trying to reach at least a thousand likes on all of my videos before um, we move to another number. <laughs> so please give it a thumbs up so that YouTube can push out our vlog or push out my vlogs to um, other people. This channel can grow and I can be more useful and make better content for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I hope you enjoyed this. Please send a testimony on Sephora for your girl, for the Sephora squad for 2022. I'll have that link in the description for you guys to go straight there. It doesn't have to be long. It can be a sentence. It can be three sentences. It can be five sentences, whatever. Um, and I thank you so much for your support with that because it will really help your girl out. Thank you guys. I love y'all. And I hope to see y'all uh, at the next video. Talk to y'all then. Bye.